The story of this album, of course, we just came out of uh, a terrible time. Well, we're still coming out of it. The pandemic, oh, the politics, the ecology, everything is, is a mess. So I started I writing songs that were before. about the times we live in, of course, but also surviving the times we live I'm in. I'm a rainmaker. The musicians, my son Leo, my friend Billy Peterson, Max Darmon, Roman Ross, and the special guests. Rick Margitza is a saxophone player from America. Rudolf Berger, he's a very special musician. He is an artist, and not all musicians are artists. Rudolf is both. Quel est le prix de cette vanité folle? Worlds and flames today. Le monde en flamme aujourd'hui. Fighting the fire with gasoline. Attaquer le feu avec. Dennis Benarod, brilliant percussion player. Olivia Kerr Oreo, who is one of the world's great harmonica players. The first song I wrote was a song called Are We There Yet? Everything is changing so fast with artificial intelligence and uh, face recognition and all this. Where, where are we going with this? What is the end game of the life we're living? And how will we know when we're there? Or will we ever be there? Are we there yet? So that song, uh, for me, was the most important song. That phone is ringing down, down an empty hall. Nobody answers because nobody Another interesting song is the song that is a cover of a cover. To explain this, my friend, Curly Cook was his name, and myself wrote this song and performed it and recorded it. A few years later, we heard that the French rapper MC Solar had taken the first four bars of our record and looped it and wrote a song on top of it called Victime de la Mode. Well, we hadn't heard from them. Nobody had reached out to us about using the record, using the song, anything. But, you know, I, life goes on. I, I'm not going to let that trouble me. I l tried to look into it. I, at one point, I tried to contact MC Solar. I, I had no luck. But then we thought, well, what we're going to do is we're going to cover his cover. That cat left me holding what nothing but a phone.